<laughs> it sucks. They buffed his recovery, quote unquote buffed. I feel like it's worse. Because a lot of characters in this game, if you hit them out of their side of being in the air, they get it back. Right. Little Mac does not. He completely loses it's it. It's so bad. Like, I feel like I'd rather just have Smash 4 recovery and like be able to spam air dodge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? That, that, that was better for Little Mac because then he can actually just kind of run away from people. In this game, you, he gets hit once. Yeah. All right. So now we had Funzy? F U N? A Fun Uzi? Looks like. I have no idea how to pronounce that. F N U Z. That's all I see. Yeah, there we go. F N F N U Z. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, F N U Z. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, there, okay there we go. Yeah. Versus Blurry Face, who actually is playing Ike. I yeah. know he played Lucas in the last game, but I, I guess he didn't like the feel Lucas in this game, so he's going to go with Ike. Yeah, and it's pretty interesting. I know, I know Lucas does like a bunch of different stuff. Like, I, I still feel like he's pretty good, but yeah, he he's plays a little different. Yeah, he plays a little bit differently. He doesn't zone as much, but he does have the Zare loop. Yeah, yeah, Zare yeah, loop. I've seen the Zare loop. And, and like Dare loops, too. Dare loops, and then PK Freeze being obnoxious with how far it sends you for no reason. Yeah. This versus Evan Uzi, who's rocking the Ganondorf. Oh, and the Nair is going to catch that directional air dodge. Ganon being, I mean, both these characters being like crazy powerhouses, I feel like in terms of like overall strength, I'd still give it to Ganon. Oh, just easily. Because, yeah, because like that Nair is so strong, or just like all of his arrows in general are really strong. Um, Ike is definitely very safe, though. You can, uh. Oh, what? I don't know what happened there. He got back thrown and Nick. Just did nothing, yeah. yeah. Some, some maybe a controller issue. I guess. Dang. Oh. RIP, dude. I do up. feel like Ganon, because they both have like very similar like knockback, but I feel like Ganon has the slight advantage because he has lingering hitboxes. Yeah. Like especially with that Nair. You get thrown off stage and Ganon like just drop zone Nairs, that is a scary thing in of itself. Because if you get hit, you're gonna get it's not gonna like dink you or like maybe send you like two inches, it's gonna send you flying. Mm -hmm. and yeah, then, very powerful. And especially and if he catches your double jump with that, unless you have a really good recovery, you're pretty much dead at that point. Oh the kill. Oh I, I feel like up smash out of shield. I know that moves really laggy on block. Oh yeah. So this this is such a scary position too because right now when you're fighting against an Ike and you're out of Nair up air percentage, like it's so much harder for them to kill. And wow, the up smash as well. Evan Uzi gonna catch that directional air dodge from Blurry Face. Solid three stock. I mean, he did SD at like zero. Yeah, he did. Nonetheless, okay. we'll see what Blurry Face, what kind of adjustments he makes. I don't think he plays any other characters like tournament wise. Um, I know in Smash Four he messed around with Falcon and Cloud. So I'm not sure if he is using them in this game. Maybe he's, I don't know if he still plays Lucas. He might still be playing that character as well. So he could have that. What do you, like what do you think about Falcon? A lot of Falcon. people think Falcon sucks. Mm. He definitely plays a little bit differently. He kind of, I don't know. He still has some decent combos. And Raptor Boost now, I believe, has armor. And it combos in the early. He doesn't kill. But Falcon Kick kills earlier now. Okay. If I remember correctly. And then he still. But yeah, Raptor Boost doesn't kill as early. He does not kill at, like early at all. Like that thing doesn't. It probably doesn't kill until like 180 because it's like a heavy combo move now. Okay. It's been, like specifically like 100 percent. If you get Raptor Boost, I believe you can do like up air, up air, and whatnot. Wow, it actually is like a combo starter. Yeah, it's an actual combo starter. Wow, like it's real. Yeah. Oh, that's. And then good. I know he still has up air knee, and he also has first hit near me, which okay. I think connects a little bit longer than up air knee did in Smash Four. So he has a little bit that. But his. Grab combo game got nerfed quite heavily because before, if you grab down through the Falcon, you could just kind of throw out whatever move you wanted. Knee could connect if they DI wrong, up air, nair, or even back air. In this game, it's like a lot tighter window, so if you don't immediately, I don't know if you can do the buffer nair into it. Right. Like, no, uh, there's some, I, I know there's some characters that they can only do some confirms if they don't buffer. Okay. All right, so this is going to be. Um, Gonna be the run back here on Pokemon Stadium 2. Let's see if Blurry Face can get these space nairs going. Okay, and I feel like right now Blurry Face is just prop like activating the nairs a little. Like you need to fall down. Like you need to yeah. be at at La Pica your jump and then call, come down yeah. and fast. It feels like he's pulling it right before. Yeah, good. yeah. I'm not sure. I didn't look close enough, but it looks like he's nearing. Then they see the sparks. And when you do that, it's less safe and it doesn't cover as much distance. Yeah. And even if you get the hit, you can't combo it. So yeah. it looks like he is cleaning it up. Though tries to go for the dare. Will Ganon return it? No. Stay okay. Oh wow, tries to go. Okay, Ooh. then gets it there. Damn. F and Uzi okay. overextending just a bit of blurry face will punish and take the stock. It was funny because first blurry face overextended and then he overextended yeah. and then blurry face. Like, All right, sick. All right, let me, let me take that. I'll take this. Okay, All right. Down B. Okay, we'll go past the shield though. So I, I wonder why blurry face hasn't punished uh, wizard for. Because that FN one crossed them up, so I feel like it's a little harder. It's a little harder, but FN Yuzi hasn't shown that he does the auto count of spacing. Right, and he right, still true. does have like a decent like an X F tilt as far as I'm concerned. It's a decently fast move. Probably could punish that. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh 
Off the uppy with the down tilt. I feel like Blurryface could have started just side being earlier there, but kind of waited it out, then double jumped to the ledge, misspaced yeah. it just a tad bit, so he was overshooting the ledge, and right there, Evan Uzi was able to hit the foot, the down tilt, the close up slot. Right there, when Blurryface missed the down tilt, the up air conversion, I think that's what I was talking about. Like, you can't buffer, you just mash, jump, and then up air at the same time. You have to wait till the animation ends to actually right. move. Or I feel like it's slightly delayed. <laughs> Trading S smash for S smash. <laughs> yeah, both these players swinging their swords up. But right now, Blurryface with the lead here. Offstage situation here again. Directional air dodge. But I feel like they're either not close enough to the ledge. Oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate mind games. Like, he he read him, like, when he was off stage. Like, he knew. I feel like he wasn't aiming for that. I feel like he was aiming for Because <laughs> Ike's eruption fully charged is now, I think, a decent projectile. Oh, oh yeah. Because it travels yeah, yeah. force. So I feel yeah. like he was aiming more so for that rather than that. But Ganondorf stage roll not being really good. We'll catch him on the roll in. Yeah. Covering multiple options there with... The uh, Aether. All right. So Blurryface doing a lot better this right, game right. than in the last game. Not going to get any three stock. Has the stock lead, but catches the side B. Yeah, yeah. again. Released a little bit too early. Yeah, and it's interesting because most most people don't beat out that move. Like, Ike will just swing at you before, but that Nair from Ganon is just so huge. It did a really good job yeah, of covering that recovery. It's so big. as has a linger hitbox. It is, I would say behind up air, it's probably his best move. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Really, really good move. Ooh, again, then see that Nair? I feel like just kind of drifting in. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, okay. So close. Usually that kills people. Really, it does, but I feel just barely avoiding it. Okay, so I like what F and Yuzi is trying to do. He's trying to catch Blurface going onto the platform. Oh, wow. That F smash on block was able to get punished. And I, I don't know if that F smash was intentional, but I feel like there's certain punishes that you either, like, you don't take because like, oh man, I messed up. I don't want to like go reach out for a punish and then get punished myself. Or you just do a little lighter punish. Like the, I don't know, like Ganon's smash attacks on block, you cannot you smash can't, attack no, them you, back. You do not. They're, they have very low ending lag. The, I don't think, there may be a few characters in this game that can potentially punish that. Yeah. I don't, I don't feel like I just want to fall. Right, yeah, so maybe just like punish 